So, hey there, YouTubers. I'm Luis from Onsite Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. Sorry I'm a little dirty, I just got back from doing a recovery. But, I wanted to do uh, an experiment on an Ajero call that I did. I, ex I accepted a PO. And I did it purposely so that, <laughs> so that my viewers can see, especially those viewers that are just getting into the business, can see what they're up against. So, a little background. Um, to the story. So my driver, I dispatched my driver to go get a vehicle a few miles away from the shop. And he gets there and he calls me up and he's like, listen, it's a snowy driveway. I can't really get down it. You know, can you come up here? So show up in my record, my four wheel drive record, um, ran, ran a couple hundred feet of line to get this thing up the driveway just so the person can have it taken to the dealership. So, you know, this is, a, this is a customer of mine as well. So this is the reason why we took the call. Um, so I ended up pulling the vehicle out for her, sending my driver down with the flatbed to the dealer um, for, for warranty work. And I said, you know what, let me get on the phone and call a Jero, my favorite. So I call up a Jero and I'm like, listen, I'm going to need two hours of winch time added to this PO. You know, this is why. And the girl's like, all right, we'll just itemize it. I'm like, no, hold up right there. I'm not itemizing anything. I need a supervisor on the phone. I need their name and extension and their approval on this. So they get a supervisor on the phone. They approve it for the, you know, X, Y, Z. And I'm like, all right, let's put them to the test. So 24 hours later, I submit the, uh, the bill through, um, through tow book. And immediately... I noticed it's shorted 200 bucks. They approved like $100 out of a $300 bill. So I'm like, okay. Just what I thought. But I ended up calling a Jero and you got, to, and I actually recorded it. And you get to see what providers have to go through to get paid with, you know, a Jero and several other motor clubs and how time consuming it can be, especially when, when you don't have time to address the, uh, the invoices right away, they just stack up and before you know it, you got 30, 40, 50 of them that have been shorted and you need to go back and it, it, it's a nightmare. And this is why I hate doing um, motor clubs and doing stuff for them on POs. This is why I've been pushing for credit cards for the last six to eight months, just credit card, credit card and hounding them for them. And guess what? If they don't want to pay me for a credit card, you can find Joe Schmo. You know, I, I could care less, you know. And I've been seeing a lot too. A lot of my competitors have been taking the calls uh, we've got two in particular are driving 25 miles down here just to run the calls that I'm turning down and towing them two miles. You know, like what kind of money could you possibly be making, you know, to come 25 miles to tow a car a couple of miles, you know. But anyways, so the next part of the video is going to be me on the phone with a Jero. And I was on hold for 17 minutes, just so you know, before I got somebody. And uh, didn't film that the whole 17 minutes, so I spared you guys that. But... You know, and you'll get to see an, a, a glimpse of what we have to go through, you know, doing work for these motor clubs and accepting POs. So stay tuned. Um, I'm calling in regards to a PO. Um, let me pull up the PO number real quick. I just had it up. Um, I'm calling in regards to PO number 264. Four one 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 four four. How can I help you with this, Pio? Okay, um, I. Here looking at the invoice, and it, you guys shorted us a couple hundred dollars, and I wanted to know why we were shorted.
of witching you didn't um, that you submitted or didn't submit. Yes, it, it was a tow, um, but we couldn't get to the vehicle, so we had to winch the vehicle out, um, and we called it in, and we got a supervisor's name and extension on there, um, but for some reason it was still denied. You do see on your end that there is a supervisor's name and extension on there? Yes, I do see uh, two, two hours. I just two hours in the driveway with snow. That's, they're not covered because it's not plowed. Um, but, yeah, I do see it. Um, okay. Okay. I mean, if they weren't covered, why was it approved by that supervisor? Just out of curiosity. I don't know. Yeah, I don't okay. know. Um, um, so that's all set for you. Are we going to be getting paid for it, or is it going to get denied? Do I have to go after the customer for this? No, nope, I'm going to put it through okay. for you. It will be paid. Okay. All right. Um, well, so that's all set for you. Well, I appreciate it, and uh, you have a wonderful day. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Okay. So... No reason for them to deny it. They denied it because they were trying to be slick. Um, by the way, I was also on hold for 17 minutes there, um, waiting to get somebody live. And I, um, I did this video because I, I get a lot of calls from, from new companies that are just starting out. And they're like, oh, you know, we're, we're with this motor club, we're with that motor club. You know, and they, and they fail to realize that it's going to get fun, fun from there. Um, and, you know, when I first started in the business, I spent a lot of time doing that. And then they came out with a Gerald ticket to simplify the process, which really doesn't simplify anything. I still have to sit down, manually enter it in. And a lot of times it gets denied again and I got to get on the phone. Uh, this is just one invoice, you know, like I said, I st pretty much stopped taking POs from them and been strictly credit cards, but I wanted, you know, providers who are just getting into the business to kind of see what lies in the future, what nonsense lies in the future. And this is the stuff you're going to have to deal with. And you can clearly see that she doesn't know why I got denied, you know, and she tried to say it was, it wasn't covered. Okay. Well, if it wasn't covered, then why did the supervisor approve the service? You know, that's what I don't understand. Years ago, if, if you had to add extra services like that and you got a supervisor's name and extension, they paid it no matter what. And I think up until six, eight months ago, I started noticing that they started cracking down on that and a lot of my invoices weren't paid. And then that's pretty much when I was like, you know what, we're going to stop with the out of area calls, any extra services, we're just going to build the customer there directly. Um, so, you know... This is this is frustrating and you're gonna see, you're gonna get you're gonna start to hate what you do dealing with this, especially when you're dealing with multiple, multiple calls. You know, if you got 20, 30 calls, you know, you gotta sit there, that's hours. You gotta sit there and do this. And they only allow you to do five or ten at a time. I forget, it's been so long since I've done it. But you know, you guys get to see, and girls, you guys get and girls get to see a first hand glimpse of what you have to do to get your money. You gotta chase your money. And you know what? The rates that they offer don't reflect this extra added labor to have to do this. You know, we're talking 25 minutes there, you know. I should be billing them 75 bucks for, for this nonsense. But, you know, I hope everybody here learned something off of this video. And, you know, if anybody's got any questions, feel free to comment on the video below. Hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.